awareness that we come into the world with um, gifts, but that for some many people, their gifts are never uh, really recognized. They don't they don't find a tribe or a a, a group body to uh, witness and um, just be in in the realm of those gifts with. And um, it was soon after my 50th birthday, or, or right around my 50th birthday, that I met Cynthia, and uh, Cynthia, especially Phil, I had known a little before. But, um, and, you know, being invited into uh, the, one of their first classes in San Jose, you know, and there, there's Leo in that class, and he just picked me up under the arms and, you know, started twirling me around, <laughs> and I knew I knew at that moment, this is for me. <laughs> Even though Cynthia had come to me as a campus minister at San Jose State and said, um, you know, we think we have some ways of helping students deal with the Iraq war. That was our first invasion. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was like, you know, the politics and the personal were there from the beginning. But the, um, the, the, uh, the way I have felt wing it and interplay as a tribe I am, I am aware that I would have been sadder in my life had I not found you all and you had not found me. And so um, it, it feels, it would, it would be helpful to me to just hear what, I mean, I've never asked for this before, but what you remember about playing with me and, um, you know, just stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't have to be all about me, but a little bit. I do want to play. the very specifics, because y'all are the only ones who can tell me those. You know, they're just times I was out there I don't even remember. And I'm sure that's true for all of you. So that's perfect, Penny, because we have an interplay form just for that. <laughs> with Penny. Or what you say? Or playing with Penny. Or playing with Penny. Early yeah. performing. True. Playing or performing, rehearsing, practice, all that. Um, I don't know, should we just go in random order? I guess so. Randomness. <laughs> I can talk about teaching with Penny. Many, many, many classes and starting out all of the lists, all of the lists. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> all those lists. So that we knew where we were going. And I remember we got in a place where we didn't have to make lists anymore. We just knew how to do this. And it was kind of a relief and a release to know we have this. We got this down. I could talk about, I'm going to be a little bit of a time hog here because I need to hop off. Uh, Penny, happy birthday. Blessings. I could talk about... Um, watching you fly across Interplace Studio uh, with Megan and the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I could talk mm -hmm. about a story you told about mindfulness and walking and your journey with cancer. Mm -hmm. I could talk about, uh, this is not so much how, well, it is how we played in, in and out of play. Uh, feeling what it's like to be beheld by a solid and fluid body spirit who from the get-go treated me like a full human being. Mm. And it stands out in my memory because I guess that's not often. <laughs> so how and just the you-ness in that. Thank you for that memory in my body spirit. Mm. Mm. Thank you, thank you, Penny. I love you. Mm. I, I could I talk could... about the day Penny substituted for Cynthia at the PSR class. <laughs> <laughs> and she did big body stories with us and she became some you know, she said, Give me a word, and someone said, Egg beater. <laughs> and she became before our eyes a giant egg beater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could tell you about practicing in the that little black box theater on second yeah. what was that called um 
We we used to do performances there. Metro. So, Metro. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was mm, a long time ago. And being paired with Penny for a, I think we were exchanging stories and um, she, you were telling me, Penny, about the joy of aging. And at that point, <laughs> you were in your 60s. You were about the age I am now. And I was like in my 40s. And um, oh, and Jackson would like to offer his birthday greetings to you. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> um, yeah, you were telling me how wonderful uh how much fun you were having with aging and it was very inspiring to me i loved hearing that mm. that's true i should talk about <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> what is that oh that's penny right. that's right a walk. This was from the 695 mile walk we did i don't know <laughs> <laughs> But I could also talk about seeing this amazing woman come out and transform herself into anything and bust a gut laugh and at the same time find a tear. Someone that is so connected to their humanity that they can express that and I was, oh, Penny, I've always been in awe of you. Of every time you've come out, I just go, oh, what, where am I going to be inspired today? So I could talk about the inspiration that Penny mm. radiates. I could talk about the inspiration too. Um, and I remember your 60th birthday party, Penny, and, and how at that point, um, I mean, I, I'll never be as old as you because I'm, I'm only five years behind you, but it seemed like way more than that because I always thought of you as being this wise woman that had so much knowledge and so much grace and humor. And um, when you moved away, I was so sad. So happy birthday, many more, love you. Thank you. Thank you. I could talk about always trusting that Penny would come up with the right story mm -hmm. or the right dance. Penny was the 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 know all and be all of all interplay performance forms. <laughs> she, if you needed a if you needed a hand to hand body contact she she just was there all around her mm -hmm. all around her happy birthday penny mm -hmm. i could tell you about a lot of things <laughs> i could tell you about a lot of things um leading the women's group together for years mm -hmm. and uh, it's still going um, thanks to the, thanks to the foundation, Penny Blade. Um, tell you about moments in performance together that were just magical. But mostly, I would like to tell you about and thank you for almost demanding time for savoring <laughs> <laughs> during interplay practice or Phil where Cynthia would want to move on after talking about a performance or after talking you'd be like wait a minute don't we have time to savor <laughs> and I would always be like oh yes thank you we need more time for savoring in wing it in our lives, in every area of our mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. So I just, I thank you so much for your love of savoring and sharing that with us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I think it's so important. <laughs>
I talk about a story that you did in one of our Mud 100 performances, and it was a story about someone with Alzheimer's oh, or dementia. Oh, and right yeah. in the middle of that, you <laughs> immediately lapsed into kind of word salad, and you just let these yes. this, this string of unrelated words come out as if it was exactly the way it was. Like there wasn't a, a pause at all. Um, it was so fully inhabited and, and, and real. I could also talk about when we first invited you into the company. I, I might get into trouble for saying this. <laughs> Yay. And I might not be remembering it exactly. But, you know, part of our calculus as we were inviting people into the company was that we looked, we looked for people who either had a particular training or strength in either storytelling or movement or or voice, you know, so someone, it didn't matter that people couldn't do everything, um, you know, with kind of that level of skill, but hopefully it would be one area where they would have some training or whatever. And I don't remember when we asked you whether I thought you had that specifically, but I knew, um, we knew that it was right to ask you into the company and then to discover that what you brought to it was everything and your whole week. And that was, you know, it's like, well, we often talk about glue people, you know, the people who are so good at kind of helping the, the community just be knit together. And that's, um, I think, one of the gifts that you brought. But mostly it was just that you were so completely yourself and you could do everything, mm -hmm. it turned out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we, knew, we knew it was the right thing to do, but we didn't know exactly why. We found out later. <laughs> uh, why, why. What, what I remember you're saying, Phil, was... Um, you're a pretty good storyteller <laughs> and, and, and we would like a little maturity in the company. Because <laughs> uh, I, I think I was the oldest one at that time. Uh, <laughs> right. And I, I ate it up. I, I didn't mind whatever. Oh, I was thrilled. <laughs> well, I can talk about why. I thank spirit love and I sing, yeah, 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 Penny. I can tell you why I talk about why I sing that in celebration of you. And when we, um, like in your um, housing community in LA, we collaborated and um, you brought me out to collaborate with you to dance and sing with the seniors. I could talk more about that, um, but thank you. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 mm -hmm. heart to heart. Mm -hmm. I remember dancing with you one of those first times, Shoyanka, and we could tell. Mm -hmm. oh. you know, we did that pull apart, and we knew we could hold each other. Mm, what? That's right. Yes. I I could I could talk about so many things. You, Penny, have been one of my. Um, hey, Amar, could you turn down your um, volume again? Thanks. It's really rough to hear myself. Still, still hearing myself. Ah, thank you. It's better. Um, you know, Penny, you are a beacon of grace, um, embodied grace, and as many of the people in this company are. I mean, it is actually one of the attributes of the people in the company: the physicality of grace and the quest for that. And you know, at the same time, our dramatic sensitivity, which allows us to be artists. Um, but you have also been one of the people in my life, both in the in Wing It um, sometimes, but more so on the board and other outside conversations, to you know keep drawing me toward. Uh, balance, drawing me toward consciousness. Um, you know, I so respect your political uh, capacity and your thinking self. I respect the years that you've given to meditation practice and to an earnest explorations, the thousands of hours of journaling that you've done, that you mm -hmm. are a, such a reflective being that you always want to reflect which is now we know one of the one of the keys to making change. We have to be able to reflect on what is happening, what are the patterns, and what's going on. We can't change. Um, so I consider you, you know, a, a powerful 
uh, presence in my life, um, as well as a grace maker and with profound creativity. And as a clergy woman, you know, going through these, uh, through those portals of early ordination, um, as a woman, um, you know, I, you know, you and I are now in the not so retiring women's clergy group, um, you know, to be still really deeply presencing, um, the wisdom of our, of, of this generation that we're in, that we share, and asking together, like, how does this happen? How do we do this? What are we seeing? Who are we? You know, all of that, you know, just goes on. It's on so many levels. And most importantly, it's on the body level. That's the thing, you know, and that's all, and the, the, these arts. So, you know, challenger, grace maker. Um, yeah. And thank you for calling out the importance of being seen and seeing. So I, you know, I, I feel like there's an, that's like an endless need uh, when we are so uniquely created as artists um, because it's, we need company so bad. So thank you for the, thank you for the loving company of seeing me and, um, <coughs> and helping to, <laughs> helping me to be, <laughs> you know, as, as, you know, I guess me. Well, right back at you, sister. Um, one of the one of the strengths of of being part <clears throat> of a community like that is simply um, it just it, it it physically helps the we that sense of we. It's not just me; it's we. And you know, I have that political belief. And, and ecological belief that it's um, it's never about just me. And even though I've done all those pages and pages of journaling that tend to be about me, it's it's been to help me connect with mm -hmm. the we and um, and 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 to do it physically is so just so important. And I remember you know schmurs on the floor or. You know, when I found out about the cancer, you all let me just writhe on the floor. You lay beside me. You let me cry and say, I don't want this, but I know I can do this just so many times. And, mm. and this just, just be automatic stuff that everybody gets to have. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. It's just bodies. You know, you just snuggle up to a body and you weep and, you, and then you go on. It's just so thank you for making it so playful and so simple and accessible because we all agreed to do it together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Just a couple things, you know, that occur to me too is, you know, you are ageless. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you talk about being the senior member, but there's an ageless quality to you. You gave such courage to people who were our age to enter into this with, with no resistance, or if there was resistance, you named it and you moved forward. I mean, yes. My sense is you were on a quest to have this, this sense of complete embodiment, mm -hmm. and nothing was going to stop that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I saw you sing and play the guitar the last round, it was like somebody I had never experienced. It was a whole new thing to <clears throat> command the guitar in your voice. I was like, this is a whole new you that I'd never had the experience of seeing and witnessing. And I was just enthralled by it. The other is your politics. You are always prophetic in your ability to create and perform without hitting people over the head. Mm -hmm. You had a Amen. way of opening up that story mm -hmm. so Amen. that people could see the need for social outreach and justice in a way that, that very few people can do. And you really brought that to the company in a way no one else did. <coughs> and I just, I so valued that voice and appreciated it. Mm. And again, the, it, there's a grace, there's a huge grace about you that is only just kind of multiplied in your years. Even though we haven't been together, I feel it, I sense it. Mm -hmm. and just hearing you speak and and just the way you you are mm -hmm. penny uh, for, for me it's um 
it, it it's similar to what others are saying, but it's the joy that you carry. Mm. There's this joyousness about you all the time. Just happy to see everybody, happy to welcome everybody. Um, and this week, I uh, there was a poem that crossed my path about joy being the justice that we give ourselves. Mm. I loved that phrase because right now, joy is a <clears throat> radical act in the midst of all the shit show we got going on. And I just feel uh, when I see you, when I am around you, that's what I get is this big modicum of joy and welcome and thank you. It's beautiful. And I can't believe that you were my age now when you started the company. Like, wow, that's, that's, a, that's so good for my body spirit to take that in. Because right now my body spirit's suffering kind of, so it's really good for me to think about 20 more years of okayness. Thank you. Thank you. I think all through the years, all through the years, <laughs> I've said this and I still say it, and it is, I know one naturally born interplayer. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Penny Mann, and the rest of us have had to learn this. <laughs> There's one naturally born interplayer, and that's Penny Mann. We love you, Penny. Yeah. Hey, Penny. Hello. <laughs> Heart, glistening smile, mm. eyes that see mm. so many things, warm of heart, kind of soul, she's the one who knows. Thank you, Penny. Thank you all for being ones you are. We all here, we all there. <laughs> Let us go in joy. <laughs> Thank we you. send you with love, Penny. Birthday, Penny Man. Mm -hmm. That fixes everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that did me in. That Bye. was cool. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going Bye. to leave. I'm going to leave. And okay, then you're off Penny. To leave, right? Won't that be best? <laughs> yes. Love you all. Miss you. Thank I'm you. going to leave. I, I, I'm leaving. The little arrow is moving down towards the leaf. <laughs> I, I'm leaving. I'm saying goodbye. I'm really gonna go. No, don't go. Ha, ha, ha.